I just wanted to streaming stream. start. <laughs> By oh the- shoot, I messed up. God, stop. No, <laughs> stop recording. Okay. Now we're good. Just I think wanted we're good. to say, guys, by oh, the what? way. What, Mel? What do you got to say? I'm actually really happy that the NFL uh, relaxed their uh, rules for touchdown celebrations. Huh. And I think it's really cool that you can do um, group celebrations now when you reach the end zone. And Make uh, sure I'm, you're staying on camera. There, I am. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm looking forward for future and creative new touchdown celebrations with teams that, you know, in the future, but... We'll see. I don't know. You guys ready? I hate it. By the way. <laughs> what? what? I, I think touchdown celebrations. This is coming. This is coming from a guy that like hates like a dude slam dunking on a field goal, which is like I the most it. harmless thing. No, no, no. It's like the most That's harmless. A, above all, that is the worst it's, it's because it's one it, of the most disruptive. Exactly. Oh, come on. It's, it's just yeah, no. it's just dunking on a on a field goal. Hate post. it. Hate it. It takes like a second. Yeah, but it can mess up the actual goalposts. Get, get, yep. Get out of here, guys. You guys no. ready? Oh. Uh, yes. Maybe we're not ready. Hold on. Hold on. We're not ready. I'm off camera. And hey, Mike, you're all by yourself now. <laughs> Lock that door, oh. please. I am locking it now. Yeah, Mel, Mel is insane. There's no. No, no slamming over the goalpost. That's stupid. Stupid. It was stupid. It's it was fine. stupid before it was a rule. I don't. I don't have a problem with it. Dumb tight ends that ever did it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> One of them's on the team I like, and I still <laughs> absolutely do not want to dislike it. Okay. I I want like we we talked about this too, and like yeah, the, yeah. this the, is a conversation <laughs> that we've already. The Marsh the Marshawn Lynch like, you know. Slap hands, handshake. That okay. that's handshake. perfect. A little bit of a, a spike, even like the Gronk spike. I'm okay with spike the ball. Well, spiking the ball is classic. That you yeah. can never yeah. argue about that. Boom. You can never yeah. done. Yeah, done. I don't. I don't need somebody jumping and jiving and doing. You what know, about whatever. like Victor Cruz's salsa dance? Uh, I can live without it. That's fine. Yeah. I could live. With, I could live without Ro, uh, Rogers's belt thing. Okay. Even Martellus Bennett, <laughs> one of my favorite Seahawks, uh, I could do without his pumps. I, 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 to me, it's still... sorry, Michael. Michael, Martellus is the tight end. Yes. It's still going yeah, back. To, going back to tight ends again. <laughs> I don't find anything wrong with a slam dunk on a field goal post. Yeah. Well, know. you know. Yeah, I don't know. That's just, you know. They're also an Eagles I, be, I bet, yeah, there you go. See, I mean. <laughs> the Eagles thing, okay. Sorry, yeah. We're, okay, I that's bet, really I bet you were disruptive. Huge, you, loved, you loved the icky <laughs> shuffle and the dirty bird. Oh, uh, the dirty bird's uh, all right. Oh, the dirty bird's It's <laughs> dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> Like I thought, some of some of To's celebrations were were pretty funny. For example, in the moment, but I don't want to oh, see the, like the cell phone calling his mom. Uh, yeah, sure, the sharpie okay. or whatever, or okay. even the pom poms yeah. or whatever. Okay, the popcorn, sure. Okay, you know. Yes, he, yeah, those were creative. We're good. I don't want to see everybody do it. I don't want to see team celebrations and shit. No thanks. Like they're doing a haka before you know a rugby game ever after scoring every touchdown. All I'm saying I is see it. from the viewpoint of the player making the touchdown, I think they just deserve whatever they want to. They made a touchdown. It's it's hard to score the touchdown, and I think they it's is it. I, I mean I mean it's game by game, but like you know, they they deserve to have a chance to kind of do their whatever they want to do. You know, I don't think All right, so if you're proposing that you outlaw every other celebration for first downs, for sacks, for tackles, for incomplete passes, for handoffs <laughs> to the running back, if you outlaw every other celebration and you just celebrate when you score a touchdown, I'm in. <laughs> okay. but <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I mean, I think it's cool to see a sack celebration, though. I don't know. Mike, what do you think? Sack celebrations? Um. No. I, 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 really? no I, I prefer, like I said, like, or, you know, like I said, like Brian said, handshake. That's that was the ultimate celebration to me. What do we, what do we say? Handshake, 
uh, high five. Six spike, high five. Five or spike. Uh, All right. There was more. Was there one more? Moonwalk. That was. Wait, good. so so this this <laughs> when you get a first down, th this is like. Oh God. You don't like no, that. That's the first. Shoot. No, actually, no. What drives like me nuts is the this one. This this is. The feed me. Oh, oh, feed me. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. I get that. I get that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what are we? Are you ready, guys? Uh, What's ready. going on? I can't talk about. I can't <laughs> yeah. talk about this anymore. Ready. <laughs> All right. Let me catch my breath because I'm, 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 I'm a little too I'm excited. I'm an old man. I'm an old man when it comes to sports. Like I, I hate the DH. Uh, just I, stop talking about it, man. Yeah. Let's just let's just do this. Get rid so. of the three point shot. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. You're way more like <laughs> grumpy old man than I am. Oh gosh. Yeah. Are, are are you one of those guys that you want just want to get rid of like the extra point, the PATs, like? Yes. Okay. I would love to get rid of the PAT. Okay. Love. I I would, <sighs> but the only for okay. Can we just La last no. thing? Last thing. <laughs> if you, no, let's get right back into it. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep the PAT, I'm fine with that. As long as the person that scores the touchdown kicks the PAT. Or the quarterback. If the quarterback is the one that kicks it, or the person that scores it, keep it. Otherwise, why? Why does the quarterback deserve the right to kick it? What are you talking about? They scored the touchdown. They, well, the quarterback at least started the play, right? I mean, okay, make it the center or whatever. But... Have you ever watched yeah, I, rugby? I, I propose that you have to kick it from where yes. you cross. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, where like, you cross. Like it's like where you touch the ball down or where you cross, whatever. Okay. You know, that yeah. that is such a dumb rule in, in, in football, especially in pro football, yeah, where, the hash, where the hash marks are much more narrow than in college. It's <laughs> dumb. It is dumb. It has always yeah, been dumb. Anyone can kick it, but you have to kick it from where the ball cross. crosses. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm more, more strict. I think uh, I would love... Like, when you saw Refrigerator Perry score that touchdown, next thing is he's going to line up and kick a VAT. Oh, my God. No, no, no. What, what that I would be amazing. See, <laughs> what I want to see is how many times you have to line up for a, an extra point where the center is on, the, like, the sideline. The sidelines. And the um, entire line is just off to the side. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. you're kicking from way over that is that would be that, crazy. Like left footed kicker, and I can see all the that. way on the right side. I think I think like, technically like every, that is an illegal every Cal, formation. Like currently. every uh, Calvin Johnson touchdown, like on like that the corner, that cone sideline yep. part, and then like for the extra point, he would like Calvin Johnson would have to kick it. Yeah, yeah that would be pretty exciting actually. That, that's that would, my idea. Mike's is that different. would be pretty exciting actually yep. to see Calvin Johnson try to kick that extra point. Hell yeah, I agree. <laughs> yes. uh, all right, let's do this. Mike, you ready? I accidentally opened mine uh, already. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I've got a half one here. I'm going to open this one and use this one as my thing. Just in case I finish. There's no way I'm going to finish this one, but just in case. Sure. Should I just, yes, just go or count, 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 it down. count down? Okay. Three, two, one. Welcome to Home by Eight, Drunk by Ten, Season Four, Season Four, Season Four, Fourteen. One of us watched movie five times in five days, and the other two probably watched it once. The movies, movies, division, body snatchers, I or Fire Release is nineteen fifty six, and it's eighty minutes long. So, uh, this is Mike and Brian, and I'm your top batter, Mel. We apologize in advance for the audio, video, and color quality. Enjoy. <sighs> uh, I, I can't am... imagine anyone in the world knows what movie we're talking about. <laughs> I said something body snatchers. <laughs> But I totally messed up the genre part. Um, even guys, we even cut down the the intro for this the intro script, and I'm still oh. I, I basically just miffed it. Miffed it. I basically <laughs> miffed it in terms of a uh, 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 a kick kickoff. Muffed it. Muffed. Miffed. No. Miffed. Was, muffed. Miffed, miffed is, means like you're slightly mad at it. <laughs> <laughs> can I mean both? <laughs> nope. I mean it can from now on. It it is. Can it, can it be can, like a... That's um, canon. English canon. Moof... Mifamooft? Mifamooft. 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 No, it can't. It can't be that. It can be anything else but that. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. It really burns. <sighs> okay. Like, well, if, halfway through, it's really rough. Yeah, it is. Let me just say the title again. It, invasions of the Body Snatchers. Invasion. That's a long title. Oh, it is. Right. <laughs> uh, one more time. One more time. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. There you go. Can I talk about Twin Peaks real quick? 
No! <laughs> no! Why are we run. talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> no! So, so I finished the season two this week. Get out and of then here. I watched, today I watched the, uh, the, the movie, Fire Walk With Me. I can't wait for the, the new series, which has already started, but I haven't watched it yet. Oh god, I can't wait for you to watch so we can talk about it. Yeah. Mm. Have you watched Twin Peaks? I've seen Twin Peaks, but like back when I was ten. Twin, Pe- Twin Peaks. <laughs> so eleven. One of the reasons I wanted to watch it, I think I started watching it a while ago. I took a break when I started. I loved the first season. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, I started the second season. Yeah. This is a while back. Wait, so I is stopped. it? Is it the original cast? Like, well, I don't know. I don't want to know anything about the new one. I haven't watched the new one. Okay. I haven't read anything about it. I do know that some of the same cast members are coming back for it, though. Okay. That's all I know. Um, but uh, the second season, like, it was not good. It's real not good mm-hmm. at times, especially. Um, but the movie, I liked it. You said... So, also, the movie is set and filmed in parts in, in one of my old, my old, old hometowns. Okay. So I know, like, when they do... Like, there's one scene in, in season two where they're, they're filming the Marti Cafe, and a bus goes by, and it's mm-hmm. Snoqualmie Valley Elementary School bus, and there's a chance I could have been on that bus. Yeah, whatever. No, I, used to, I used to ride the bus past the Marti Cafe. It's possible. Well, Although it might have been a year after I moved. Guys, so, let me anyway. let me announce some news, some exciting the news. The movie is good. Uh, I don't know much more about twi- the, the new Twin Peaks, but I just saw the new trailer for the new Castlevania animation coming out on Netflix soon. Oh, really? They're making a fucking move- animation? Movie? I don't know. Uh, uh, of Castlevania. Yeah, I heard. And I saw the trailer, and it looks pretty cool. I've heard it's actually, it looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. But we're not but, here to talk about that. No, we're not. <laughs> but, I mean, it's it's along the sci-fi horror part of Speaking this Speaking of movie. sci-fi horror... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that Castlevania is sci-fi, but Wait, horror. it's horror. It's horror. And, and the movie we watched today was is kind of a... Kind I, of today, a I don't know. This movie is so much horror. I'm like, maybe, but... Well, we gotta, we gotta put ourselves in perspective into into 1956. And pretty sure yeah. people were freaked Back out. Back when everybody talked like this? Yeah. So, Mel, what were some of your impressions of the movie? Uh, well, this is DJ Mel for WRK Views X uh, 95.6 FM. And, uh... Let's just say uh, this is. <laughs> also, no, did just... they have FM radio in 1956? That's a good call. I don't know, <laughs> but okay. Uh, 85.1 AM. Uh, WQRB. This is uh, a critique on the invasion of body snatchers. Let's say it's quite a phenomenon. This movie, it's quite a phenomenon. All right, we're done with the voice. Okay. <laughs> Let's have it. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I can't you, go, you go first. You go first, man. I'm oh, t- what's this? Why is it showing this? Uh, you go first, bro. You watched the movie today, No, right? you're I'm first. You, you are I'm first. I'm first? Okay. Yes, um, Jim, you, Jim, Brian, then me. So okay. you okay. first. You okay. today. Okay, so I watched it. I just watched it, like, literally, like, what time is it now? Okay, yeah, literally, like, six hours ago. No. Eight hours ago. <laughs> and, um... I want to start off with, so the beginning of the movie, I mean, it's like a typical, that time period, the 50s, I, 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 when I first saw it, I wanted to categorize it with like the typical 50s noir type of film, uh-huh. whether it's like, uh, like a detective story or a horror film or a sci-fi, right? But here's my first question to, I, I guess I'll address it to Brian more than to Mike, but All right. so... Is it me, or was it kind of weird that, like, the hero was a general practitioner of a small town? Like, when things went down, right? Like, everyone's like, oh, we gotta go up to uh, Dr. What's his name? Dr. Bentley? Or Bennett. Huh? Bennett. Bennett, ben- right? Help? So it was, to me, it was a kind of, I felt a little off, but then, but then again, I thought, like, okay, 
why is the hero like a general pract- practitioner? Why does like why do they choose a general practitioner uh-huh. for uh, the hero of this movie? I don't know. Like, what are your thoughts about that, Brian? Uh, I think because I mean, the the way that people are, the way that they find out that people are changing, is because people complain about feeling strange, and then they feel fine. Why couldn't it be the psychologist? So, but the psychologist and Mike will be able to elaborate more on this. But the psychologist basically is the anti-hero. He's he's the villain in some sense, right? Yes. Okay. So. So well, so I guess I'll jump in and say, no one that is trying to talk to him mm-hmm. feels bad. Right. Right. Everyone that's trying to talk to him is trying to talk to the main character about another person. Right, all, right. And say, my mom isn't who I think my mom is. My cousin isn't who, like they're, right. they're, all, they're not trying to get in touch with him because they feel sick. Yeah, I got you that. You don't feel bad. You like you don't. There's no symptoms to that transition. Right. All of those people are trying to get to him. Because they want to say, hey, I don't, I think something's wrong with me because my dad isn't my dad. Okay. Like, they're not, they're not, they don't, they're, they're not, they don't feel like they're sick. They're concerned because they think they're going crazy. Okay. Okay. And I think psychiatry, I, I have no idea. I would guess that maybe psychiatry wasn't super common at the time. I, I have no idea. So yeah, like, no one seems to be going straight to the psychiatrist. Well, I, I get, yeah, I mean, I get that. Like, at, at that time period, um, like, psychiatry and, and psychologists are, are kind of like, it was a new uh, school of medicine, and people are still skeptical about um, going to see a psychiatrist, right? I don't know how new it was. I, just, it was, I, I, I think it was not, it was not normal for, for everyday people to go see a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Yeah, time. I think you went to a psychiatrist and there was a real stigma about okay. going to it. Yeah, right, right. Um, I think, so I think that's why people are going to him to say, hey, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Maybe, right. maybe it's my dad. I don't know. It's just, it's, I guess it's just, it's... <laughs> This is all fucked up. There we go. It's just it's uh it's just been a while like seeing like a like a black and white movie and like the main hero is a general practitioner, a doctor. You don't really see that so often in, in those classic films. You know what I mean? Usually you'd see like a sheriff or you'd see like I don't know, an ex war war veteran veteran or a cowboy or I don't know. Far like some like the a general practitioner didn't seem like a, a like a hero to me when I first saw this movie. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean he. I mean, yeah, I guess he's kind of an everyman. But also, I think at this time, the it's supposedly a small town. Yeah. So the small town kind of like the big standout people are the doctor, the, doctor. the sheriff, yeah. the mayor, or something like yeah, that, yeah, right? Like, yeah. So he's, he's still in the community. He's probably one of the more prominent figures right, at the right. same time. But sure, I, I you wouldn't you wouldn't imagine him also, and I, maybe this is part of the the reason he was chosen. But mm-hmm. you wouldn't imagine him to be a hero. Right, right, right. And the other thing too is um, the other thing I want to point out was uh, I think they were they were definitely jumping a lot, and there was definitely a lot of editing in this movie. Because they, I I they I know they wanted to get the point across about, you know, aliens from outer space coming in and then body snatching people, but there was a lot of jumps <laughs> in this movie. There was a lot body of jumps. Body snatching. And and and, and it, it, it it was I think maybe it was just because of budget issues, but like I think uh, at that time, they were doing their damnedest to uh, use everyday normal people without using that many. Um, types of special effects to uh, show that these people are just stale and gray and old. Um, I, I thought, to me, I thought that was brilliant. The, 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 the work of the acting and I thought the, the script was brilliant to sh- flesh out, you know, what the, the, scr- the, the story or the, the, the screenwriter was trying to say about, the, you know, trying to 
show the audience what the film is all about. And I think that was really dependent on the good acting and the, the screenwriting and the dialogue. Um, I thought, like, I thought if there were more special effects in this movie, I probably would have hated this movie more. But overall, I loved it because yeah, it's a like classic. there's like I not think, a uh, lot of like special effects. Like there's the pod stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think like if there's the, more of that, <laughs> if there's more right? of that, I would probably hated it much more. Um, what else? Uh, what else did I wanted to say? Uh, I I thought that eighty minutes was. Oh, can I ask you a question? Oh yeah. Uh, so. You said you liked the script and you liked the acting. Yeah. Is there anything specific about like I liked the the two leads, the 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 uh, was it Miles and uh, Becky? Okay. I actually the acting what I was talking about was actually all the supporting actors pretending to be um, normal folk. I actually thought oh, okay. like they did a real like especially like the sheriff and. The uh, psychiatrist, I thought they were really um, portrayed well as being like kind of blasé about the whole situation. Um, I, I just thought, right. to be honest, I thought like the love story was there just to kind of like at that time to kind of attract women to come to the, the movie. <laughs> as it is now. Yeah, like, no, I, I, don't, I don't mean like love story. I meant specifically like the their, actor, their, actor, their actor. Like, I really liked the main guy. Yeah, I think I he's amazing. Good. I thought he was amazing. Um, she was yeah, okay, I she's, guess. Yeah, and it sucks because I think she's a great actress, too. And I, I think, she's hot. Yes. And, and, and yeah, I, I don't want to... I don't want to play that down, actual, uh, actually, because she was gorgeous. She was, like, she's, her first she's, couple she's like the same level. Yeah, the first scene yeah. when she comes in, yeah. smoking. Yeah. <laughs> And, and it sucks because I think she's a really, like, really good actress. Like, I'm pretty sure when... Uh, what's her name? I forgot her name already. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> the actress's but, name? Yeah. What's her name, Mike? Uh, her name is Dana something. Okay. Carvey. <laughs> no. Stubblefield. Like, I, I, I wish I, I, I saw more parts with her, but, like, um, but the, the main lead, the, the, the Dr. Bennett, she, he, he was doing really well, but I thought... I thought a lot of the, the supporting actors, even the, in the beginning, like the the um the first scene with the FBI agent and the psychiatrist, they were they looked awesome. Um, so I thought like this type of movie played really well to the strengths of the the actors and the actresses that played the parts. And I thought this is the type of sci-fi. Uh, I guess should we call it sci-fi? It's absolutely sci-fi. Yeah. I, so yeah, it's absolutely sci-fi. This is the type of sci-fi film that. I really respect and and I I, I, I think sci fi films nowadays don't have that type of gusto. They don't have that type of uh like value to, to the, the story because you know, they have to rely on special effects much more often these days compared to uh, this movie. So, um, I don't know. Overall, I want to say that this is a classic. Uh, I, this is probably my, my second time seeing it. The first time I saw it was, like, in parts, but the second time I saw it, like, I thought... It, it's the, the, This is the second time I saw it in full, and I thought, damn, this is, this is the stepping stone of, like, what a classic sci-fi horror flick should be. And it shouldn't be because of the special effects. It should be because the main lead carries the story throughout and they did a great job mm. Elfine Elfine <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'll... cool to Brian alright um, well so my notes apparently there's been some you sort of notes I always take notes no you, you don't say that you, dude that's bullshit you don't even say you take notes dude I take notes what you didn't take about? notes last time which movie? Oh, by the way, so sometimes he takes notes, sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> I almost always take notes. There's only been like once I didn't take notes. I think. Which one? Look at Shot in the Dark. Notes. Look at that. Oh wow. That was the last one. That's a lot, dude. I took no. That's not a lot. Actually, I took a bunch more notes, but they're for some reason <laughs> they didn't they didn't sync. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, but speaking of the last movie, Shot in the Dark, uh, what's the name? Peter Sellers. Yeah. I don't know if yep. you watched the last Third and Wrong. But I went did not Sorry. because I didn't like that movie. But 
I did go back and watch for during the third and wrong. I watched uh, Doctor Strangelove. Oh yeah, and he's awesome in that. Awesome, except movie. for the the titular character. Okay. Doctor Strangelove is a mess of a human. Mm-hmm. It's like somebody that's doing a fake German accent that has never met a, a German. Yeah, never heard someone speak German yeah. or has ever met another human being. That's how he does a German accent. It's, it's so bad. It's would be, so would bad. Would he be perfect to be uh, a citizen of this town, local town of Saint? Nick? Nah, he'd he'd stand out way he'd stand too much. Out? Okay, but he's he's brilliant. Yeah, he'd be way too over the top. Yeah, okay. he's he's brilliant in that movie as, no, as a, the other characters. We talked about it last time. This was a, that was a, that's a great film. Yeah, I didn't. I had not watched yeah, it last Brian time. Brian hadn't seen that movie at the time. Yeah, okay, so okay. I watched okay. it in in between. Phenomenal, right? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's a so great good. movie, except yeah. for Doctor Strangelove. <laughs> but so Mel and I, and I think myself and most of humanity have a different opinion about this movie. Uh, I didn't really like it. Oh. I thought. It, well, so here's another uh, coincidental uh, similarity between this and The Last Third and Wrong. During The Last Third and Wrong, I watched uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and I fell asleep in that movie with about 30 <laughs> minutes left to go, and I woke up at the end with the baby looking at the earth, and I was like, what did I miss? And in this movie, I fell asleep with about 30 minutes to go, and I woke up with him... Jumping on. So you barely made it halfway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I woke up with him jumping onto the truck and looking in the back, and there's pods in the back. Yeah. And yeah. So I woke up at that point and I was like, whoa. So I went back the next day and I watched uh, the, the rest of it, of course. So, uh, but I didn't really like it. And one of the mm-hmm. things you guys brought up was the special effect, lack of special effects. Yeah. And I felt like that was a negative for me. Because you look at a movie, I think, of a very similar time frame, like uh, one of the worst movies ever made. Okay. Uh, one of the worst movies ever made is Plan 9 from Outer Space. Okay. Right? I've never seen that. And that's, it's supposed to be like the worst movie ever made. So besides, what's that? Uh, uh, Leprechaun in Space or what? what is that other one? Leprechaun 2? What's that one? It's supposed to be like the worst movie ever made. You're not talking about the Mariah Carey movie that came out in the nineties. No, Splash. I think it was called. That's not Splash. Oh, is it Splash? Or? You're not. You're, are you thinking of Geely? Oh, G- no, that's Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer man. Lopez. Yeah. I'm just checking. Glitter. That's Mariah, Mariah Carey. Carey. There you like, go. I'm I'm up to date on my Latin ish <laughs> uh, singer movie stuff. <laughs> You guys want to talk about Honey, huh? Ooh. Jessica Alba? She's not Latin, but it's okay. Uh, I've never seen any of those movies, by the way. Uh, um, so, the acting, I, I thought the, the acting was great in this movie. I thought one of the big things was the lack of special effects. Not, not in that it's not over the top and everywhere, but specifically... The, the way that people change into these body snatcher pod people, right, is never shown. Yeah. And, and like, yeah. for me, that uh, is a huge thing. Like, I wish they'd but, shown a transition. Uh, is it because you're coming from a background that, like, you grew up watching awesome sci-fi movies with great I've, special effects? I've never liked science fiction as a genre. Really? Never liked it. Okay. Like, if I were to choose two... Like Alien, or Aliens, or Terminator... Uh, Terminator. I didn't really. I don't really have any affinity for. I liked Terminator, Terminator Two. Yeah, that's. But like, I didn't like that movie because okay. of the wicked special effects. Okay. Uh, Alien, I think, is a great Alien's horror an amazing movie. movie. Yeah. I don't horror. think of it as a science fiction. Movie. I was gonna say the three movies you just picked. I would put sci-fi as like the second. Yeah. Okay. Like. There's a big like action or horror or thriller okay. goes before science fiction on all of those movies you just listed. Yeah. Okay. Never like mind. And, and Alien, like the special effects, like I mean, if like all of a sudden you see the alien face to face and it looks like a fucking Muppet, right? And you're like, whoa! And the illusion is broken. <laughs> sure. But, so, I want to go back, but Brian, I want to go back to like you got to put it in the in the. Mid fifties, like I, I know. So that's why I brought up Plan Nine from Outer Space. Okay, it's one of the worst movies ever made. But like, and the the special effects are bad, and the acting is bad, and everything's bad. 
but like I found it to be a more compelling science fiction movie. Mm. Uh, even so, and, and you know, my opinion, take it for whatever you want. And I like movies of this era. I like old movies. Hell yeah! I man. love black and white movies. Hell yeah! Uh, oh, oh, by the way, guys, I, I forgot to tell you guys. So. I watched the movie today in black and white, and I watched the first 20 minutes of it last night on YouTube. In color. Like in color. Mm -hmm. I was just not impressed. Yeah, I, I read some all. comments about that. Exactly. Like, the, <laughs> like the, it was just, just totally, like, putting me off the whole the whole time, like, the first 20 minutes. Which is interesting, since <laughs> we talked about the, yeah, the Nosferatu thing. It. Yeah. Exactly. When you told me that I needed to watch the colorized yeah. version of Karatu, yeah, I was super like, I, I'm gonna trust you on this. <laughs> I really think this is wrong, but okay. Yeah, yeah. It felt but that, wrong. that was the original but yeah, I think intention. You were right. If uh, if I had watched this in a colorized version, no, I would I probably really just start. Would have been yeah, I would uh, uh, today. I would probably just start trashing it and be like, "This is the worst movie ever made." It sucks. You know? Yeah, I, I'm definitely not there. I'm not saying it's the worst movie ever made. I was just like, it's got you know 98 percent on Rotten Tomatoes and stuff, and it, it's one of the most beloved science fiction. Check. Okay, well. That's cool. Crazy to me. Awesome. Something like maybe ninety five. Well, it's, it's, anyway, it's it's, 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 it's revered as a yeah, classic of the classic, genre. Yeah, I just didn't enjoy it that much. I thought like the acting was good. I was real like left out in the cold with the whole transition thing. Like mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. transition? The, the the transition from pod person or from real person to pod person, mm -hmm. basically. Like, okay, I, there, I, there's I obviously two. Two things. I will agree with you, right? I, I, Ryan, I really. But agree there's with no you. transition period. They I, they fall asleep. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they've become one, and there's no there's no discarding of the original body. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's all of that is missing, and it really bugged me. I I agree with you. I felt the explanation was a bit rushed when they, they like <clears> uh, like falling asleep is fine, but like I, that that that's that's a that's a. Uh, uh, falling asleep is is a reason for being possessed by something, I, not I not replacing a body. Yeah, like, uh, no, it was I, just it was just really incongruous for me in that like what happened to yeah, the, to the other body. It just that, never. It was that's never the thing I missed out. The, the explanation. I thought the explanation was a bit rushed, and I thought the main character like really kind of like just drew conclusions so quickly. Yeah, I mean, right. it's, it's Before, an hour and 20 minutes. Right, right. I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if it was, like, an editing thing, but, like, like when he came back home with the steaks in his hand and, like, they're having a barbecue party and uh, then, like, all of a sudden the fucking um, pods were in his garden, uh, in, in his, his greenhouse, right? And, like, he's like, oh, this is because of this and this is because of... And he just kind of basically made conclusions and he just yeah. drew up conclusions and uh, I mean he's a doctor right so well I, everyone is <laughs> everyone is not Sherlock Holmes okay but like yeah. <laughs> elementary <laughs> like, it's like seriously do you, do, you have, do you have more to say about this or can I jump no, in I, no 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 I just I just want to Mel or me no no Mel you're done I'm done I'm just I just <laughs> wanted to uh, they kind of say or can I jump in <laughs> uh yeah you can jump i mean I, i've got other stuff but it's not important <laughs> oh wait there is one more thing important uh in the yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in the intro credits uh, there is a thing that says music by carmen dragon I that's thought, awesome that is that that is a spectacular name <laughs> <laughs> you, you even wrote that down. that is my first note <laughs> music by carmen dragon nice name oh wait wait spoon, <laughs> spoon bread spoon bread well, well i'm sure michael bring it up. okay okay, okay. <laughs> i want to uh, make we, some spoon bread by the way. <laughs> we can go straight to spoon bread i had no idea what the fuck spoon bread was <laughs> <laughs> yep. oh I, I do have a couple sounds... more quick quick things quick things okay yep, yep. Two two things that uh, one was when they found that first blank sitting, laying on the pool table, their uh -huh. their first inclination or their first the first thing that they do is they just start fucking drinking. They're like, oh, oh shit, there's a there's a body on the table true. that they have no idea, and yeah, then they're the like, table, hey, right? you guys yeah. want some whiskey? And then just sit down and start drinking at the bar. Yeah, what are we gonna do right. with this dead like, body over like here? Like bourbon's okay. It's like sure, why not? It's, it's so great. <laughs> and then also. <laughs> There's so much clutter in this movie. 
Like, it, it's really weirdly framed in some scenes that it's almost hard to pick the people out because there's so much stuff. You were talking about the scene of the barbecue in the, the garden area of yeah. his house or whatever. Yeah. There's so much shit hanging and just all around. Like, it's hard to pick out the people at some points. And same with the billiard room house. There's just so much shit everywhere. Yes, yes. It's really every, weird. Well, maybe not every, but I would say most of this movie, every frame is just incredibly busy. Very yeah. busy, exactly. And there's just so much shit in the front, <laughs> back, yep. on the wall, like everywhere. Oh, quick yeah. question, guys. Quick question. I have, I, I, um, I was just, I, I know this place is like, I, I don't know if this place is fictional, but like, uh, Hi. Hi. He's out of frame. Um, Good night. Thank you. So, like, um, I I gathered that this the the, the story is is in California. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, is this place real? This town real or was it San San Marin San something? Uh, Santa Mira. Santa okay. Mira. How far? I'm guessing away? it's not a real city. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't think it's a real place. Okay. Okay. I'm just I'm just wondering because I you know you guys are West Coast guys like I'm just wondering. Like how far this place is from LA? If it was a real place, I don't know. I uh, think, oh man, at some point at the end of the movie when they're trying fiction, to call fictional. people, and he says, "Oh, call DC." He says, "Call San Francisco." Yeah. yeah. Which I I feel like implies like maybe it's Northern California, okay. but he may also say, "Call San Diego," or like he may say somewhere south as well, but. I, for sure, he says call San or San Francisco. Yes, oh. but he, yeah, yeah. But also at the at and the end, the, the truck, truck says the, Los Angeles. Yeah, it says Los yeah, Angeles. The truck at yeah. the end of the film says Los Angeles, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle. Can I? Can, oh yes, that's right. There is a Seattle mention too. Uh, can I say Santa Mira is not a real town, which I didn't think it was. I thought it was a fake. Yeah. No. It first appears in Invasion of the Body Snatchers, but also. Appears in Halloween Three, Phantoms, which is a book, Airwolf, what? Memoirs of an Invisible Man, the 1992 <laughs> film, uh, da, 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 Dark da, da, da. Tower Two, Dark Tower, what? not two, that's seven. Back for part seven, okay. Dark Tower, Dark Tower Seven. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and also huh. Sharknado Two, <laughs> season one. So I wonder, movie. is this like a, is this a, is this like an homage to? Oh yeah, I'm sure they're invasion. homaging exactly. Invasion invasion of the body body they're all falling back to this movie. That's amazing. Yeah. Then yeah, that's amazing. But there you go, Dark Tower. Speaking of movie trailers, there you go. Check it there out. There you go. Visit your local cinema. Support. Yeah. Independent <laughs> artists. That's 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 pretty amazing that that uh, this movie has a lot of um, influence. It is one of the greatest science fiction movies of all time. I just didn't really care for it that much. <laughs> uh, now it's up to our. Clean up hitter. There you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, one, one of my first notes was about the spoon thread because I didn't know what that was. Uh, the second one was apparently this is before seatbelts. Because yeah, yeah she's, I noticed she's that. Just sitting sideways. Like, like but, they're, they've been switching back and forth. Who's, who's the driving? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, I, I said like one of my early notes is like this movie doesn't waste time. Nope. Like it is, like shit is happening every scene. Yeah. Like there's, there's so little wasted time. Yeah. And I really like that part. Like I said er, before we started recording, oh. like the the the, the time yeah, of the movie. I'm right. Minute. Yes, it is short. I think more movies should be 80 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, there's so many movies that I have watched, like, recent movies, that's just like, I, there's like, oh. long periods of like, I'm not even paying attention to this anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But check like, this one, like, I phone. was paying attention to the time. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I like this movie. I wouldn't say... I, I like ninety eight percent is seems real high. Like there's some. I'm surprised neither of you said the 
incredibly giant plot hole in this movie at the end that makes fucking no sense. But yeah, like it's give us give us I, a hint. Fill us in. <laughs> Just watch it today, but fill us in. Uh, so well, well I, I, I guess I'll get to it. Okay. Uh, I liked. I, I want to say what I liked about it before I get to what I didn't. Okay. Because like as the movie went on, I liked it less and less. Like it starts like one of the things I didn't like was uh, it the beginning half of the movie sets it up as this doctor in a small town that knows everyone's name, knows everything about everyone. Yeah. And then. By the end of it, it's clearly like a much larger city. Like they must have lost fun. Like there's something happened in the middle of this movie, clearly. Because mm. like the beginning of the movie is a small town, everyone knows everyone's name, city, and then by the end of it, they're driving down like huge boulevards. Like it's it's a totally different city. Mm. But they're mm. That's so true. like that that. I yeah, like I, f- I felt like that was weird. Hmm. I wish they had stuck with the small town because it fits. Better. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, Mike, you're right. Like the cameras did like pan out like near the end of the film, a lot with many like, scenes. The whole, the whole the whole second half of the movie, the, the camera is panned out. It's clearly a much bigger city. Yeah, that makes sense. The, yes, you're right. You're right. Yep. And uh, yeah, so. The, the giant plot hole is the whole how how you get taken over. Uh-huh. Like, at the beginning of the movie, it's, it's unclear, of course, it's unclear. You're not sure how people get taken over. And right. then they test it with the, the, the couple Jack and Ted, Teddy. That's, that's confusing. <laughs> her name is Theodora, but uh, they always call her Teddy. Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, so those those two fall asleep, <sighs> and she she's supposed to be watching the body. The body wakes up, and she wakes up Jack, who the body on the pool table looks like, and right. then they just run away. Yeah. Right. Yes. So clearly, you can fall asleep before. The body takes like the the extra the blank I think they call them yeah. takes you up like there's 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 a period of time where you can wake up and you're good. Mm. But 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 then later in the movie Becky yeah Becky just snaps yeah it's it's, it's totally unclear like did she switch when they fell over in the puddle was she already a pod person before where did the pod come right. from if I, she was like i it, think she fell asleep before they ever ran up there she fell asleep okay. in, in the bed uh or something like that in the bed at the house yeah at her house that's that's what i uh concluded I but why why would she go along it so long because like there's like when no she idea. falls asleep in the <laughs> Like it would be, it would be way too long to yes, go right. along with it, it. It is, yeah, it's all weird. And, then, like, and they reveal themselves to be, and and they say you're the last two when they're in the hospital. Oh, that's the true. Hospital. That's it's true. Clint. In, uh, in so the doctor's like, office, yeah. She, she's not that's true. Then because she says, "Oh, there's only two left," and it's those two. Yeah. yeah. So. But yeah, like yeah, like that part. That part's a weird. Like they they. They have they have a pretty clear set of rules, and then at the end of the movie, they change it like it's not the rules have changed of uh, how come one of the pod people like that's that was a big a weird problem for me. So, in the, Mike, how would you explain the doctor's um, assistant, the secretary? So, I, of course, like at first, the doctor's assistant lured lured the doctor back to the town. But he was also she was also kind of um, ambiguous at the same time, you know. She was kind of. I don't. I don't think she's a pod person. When you first see her, I think the first the first pod person you see is uh, Grimaldi's Dad. brother. 
Oh. Oh, okay. The, um, the woman in the middle of the street that's chasing the kid. Okay. She uh, she's the first pod person you see. Okay. Okay. Because the kid, the, the little boy's running away, and then you sh- then he shows up in the office with his grandmother later, because he doesn't think that his mom, the woman chasing him, is his mom. Yeah. The uh, the next pod person you see is the cop. Oh and really? After after he meets with Becky, they they go across the street, and the cop is like, oh, and, or no, the doctor's like, oh, you you meant to come talk to me. And the cops oh, like, right, oh, right, 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 right. don't worry about it. He just runs it like he totally like just brushes them off, and they're trying to talk to him. He's the second pod person you see. The third is Ira, Uncle Ira. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. He's the third one you see. Huh. But the problem is there's no real consistency between those three first introductions to the pod people. Like, I feel like that's one of the problems with this movie is the pod people aren't really, like, defined. Yeah. Because uh. you only see you only see other pod people interacting with other pod people a couple times. Mm-hmm. And each time you see them, they interact, like, way differently. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Um... There are a lot of problems with this movie. <laughs> continuity but problems, I, should we say? I'm I'm not even that big on continuity and like plot holes and stuff like that. I don't really go into a movie and and pick it apart very often. Mm-hmm. Like oh yeah, I, 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 I don't pick bed. it apart. Yeah, no, no, so, no. I know. So for me, it wasn't necessarily that there were big plot holes or anything like that that just made it uh, not that great of a movie for me. It was more just overall. It was just kind of like, for me, it was really like one of the comments that got deleted or whatever from my notes. It's mm. the movie just feels middling, top to bottom. That uh, that's my question to you, Mike, because you saw it five times. Yep. Now, after seeing it five times, supposedly, <laughs> would you, <laughs> would you have liked to see more? Like, w- like after the movie ended, would Six you... Six times? No, 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 no. Would you, like, have to see... Like, would you want Would you want to see, like, the aliens come down? Like, would you want to see uh, them man. taking over another town? Like, like, would you want to see more? Did you... Did you, I, did I you wanted, leave feeling... I watched it so, once, and so I wanted yeah, to see w- that. One of my notes is, uh, I think it was the second, the second time I watched it, Yeah, I wrote something about, like... I thought that it was weird that, like, the way this movie ends, Mm -hmm. if it was a current movie, it's clearly a tie-in to a sequel. Uh, Like, the way it ends. Yeah. 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 But I I wonder, like, at the time, like, I don't don't think anyone was like, where's the sequel? Why would, I want to know more about this. Like, I feel like it was, it was dumb. I think, like. like, that's, That's Back to the Future. Back to the Future is the first real first two sequel movie but guys do you think that we're, we're missing the point of this film like like we're playing down the fact about the 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 phenomenon of the paranoia after the second world war right so after the second world war sure. there's a lot of things that ha- you know in the 50s people were paranoid after the, you know the atomic bomb dropped uh ideas of like aliens from the outer space like people were kind of freaking out about the possibilities of things so, that. Yeah, there's there's kind of two main ways to think about this, and and they're the exact opposite. Is is this a movie that is preaching the fear of communism, or is it preaching the reaction to the fear of communism? See, I don't want to say communism. I I, I want to say it's preaching the the idea of what happens to a, a society when paranoia takes over. It doesn't right. have to be communism. So, it could be a, just a, just anything. So you are on the McCarthyism side of that. Uh, like yeah, well, like exactly. If, like if you're, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, McCarthyism, McCarthyism is all through this movie. Right, right, right. But like, it's just, the movie is playing to that point. Like, okay, it's telling the audience, like, okay, this is what what happens when paranoia sets in. McCarthyism or not, communism or not, like you're all of us are are, are, are freaking out 
and this is the effect of it. I'm on the other side. I think this is not about McCarthyism, but it's about uh, communism. I never got communism in this movie. That's weird. Never. Like I totally, I, I know, I, I know that they both. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I know that they both exist, and I never got McCarthyism. I only got communism. Okay. And the reason, the main reason, uh, and the one reason I have is the, the emotion part of it. Like, when you are switched over, oh, sure. you lose emotion. Emotion is not important. For me, McCarthyism, if it were a, a, an allegory for McCarthyism, mm. I don't think that would be an important point. Mm. I think, in fact... It would be the opposite. It would be that you feel more of an emotion when once you are mm. changed. For for me, this is what I thought. Mm. I think that there would be much more of a uh, when you change, you, everything gets better in, in in a way. And they do say that, but everything gets better in in more of a stronger emotional. Like there's more love and and things like that. And, and so. Uh, no, that, for that, for me, I, I got a, the opposite feeling, but I I know that they both exist, and people can see it either way, totally. But yeah, as, um, as I mean, we've proved uh, right now, uh, <laughs> utopianism is also part of it too. I I I sense that much more than communism. I sense this, the fact of like people are seeking for that better life after the war. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I, I think utopianism yeah. is is but, part of this, definitely. Okay. But um, why? Why is? But for me, why is? Uh, why is the utopian society one that lacks emotion? If it's the so so McCarthyism, the idea of McCarthyism would be that the pod people are the people trying to uh, e extinguish communism, right? I never got the communism part, man. I never but, did. But if you get McCarthyism, you have <laughs> yeah. to get communism. They're, they're, well, I mean, it's, it's paranoia of, of fear of, like, a... Uh, uh, well, so, uh, in, in, in what you're saying, all of the pod people are communists. Right. And, and, and they're taking, me. Trying yes. to take, they're, they're, From the perspective of the main character, he is pointing the finger at all of them as being communists or... Right. Pod, like, taking over the ideas of the public right 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 like, right exactly so so yeah so so the main character is mccarthy which is weird because his name is kevin MacArthur, i think or <laughs> like his name is mick something like his name is also very similar to mccarthy wow really yes yeah his name is kevin what's what's the home alone is kevin McAllister, yeah, right? yeah 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 uh, and the the league is Kevin McCarthy, so it's not either of those. It's but it's it's Kevin Mc something. Mc something. Like, <laughs> yeah, but but here's his the, name is very similar. Here's the problem with that is that if it's supposed to be a commentary on McCarthyism, then why is he proven correct? It, it doesn't make any sense to me. He's pr at the end. He's not insane. Everybody is becoming a pod person, right? And, and uh, that, that is actually I, I, that's another thing I was gonna say. I, I don't, I don't, I feel like this end of this movie is very ambiguous. Yeah, I, I, I so here, so I did a little bit of reading, also, of course. Um, <laughs> I, I, I usually do not, and I, I have not this time either. I, like, I, I usually do. I agree with I, Mike. I, do I thought this it after, was very ambig ambiguous, but anyways, I, I do a lot, a little bit of reading after I finish usually, or if I'm watching it five times, I'll do it after the first couple watchings. But um, so, like, the original intended e uh, mean, uh, ending of the movie was without all of that shit at the doctor's office. Same with the beginning. That didn't exist when they filmed this movie. So, technically, maybe this movie was originally uh, an hour and five minutes. Who knows? But they, the the original ending of the movie was supposed to be... Wait, wait, so, so it would start at the train station? I think so. And end... At... At the, like, you're next, you're next, you're next, like that. 
that part? The freeway, when he finds the pods in the back uh, of the... Yeah, like, I have notes that says, like, that's where the movie should have ended. Yes, that's the is original movie. Next, that's the next, original you're ending. Next, you're next. Like, that's, that's where the movie should have ended. Yep. That, that is exactly right. That's where the, the director of the movie intended it. And mm. by the... Uh, but that, that, that would just make the, the, the intro scene just totally useless. Like, why would they have that intro scene? Well, they, they added it. Well, the, the intro scene is also fucking useless. Like, it's point Well, I mean, I guess it sets the stage. The entire like, story is, is, is... There's a lot of something. him, like, you know, voiceovering parts of the, the story, you know? As uh, if he's like explaining to the doctor. But the, but the end of the, uh, uh, oh, there's a lot of voiceover in this movie. There is some. Yes, yeah, 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 there is. Yeah, is he explaining to the doctor? I never got that. Myself. Uh, well, yeah, like he's basically time, confessing. He's talking to, to the the psychiatrist or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the psychiatrist yeah, that yeah. he's talking to in okay. the hospital because he says, "For me, it was a Thursday," and then it blends into the uh, yeah. The yeah, okay. and it's it's an all it's, it's an entirely a flashback. <laughs> I remember <Okay>. that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I never put that together. Yeah, I don't know why, but whatever. But I mean, if, if they ended it at the the, the the truck, I think that would just it, it wouldn't be it good. Would, like I but, made a note, it would have. Well, this is another spoiler for a movie we haven't watched, but uh, it's basically the end of uh, Silent Green. Uh, I never saw that movie. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, so Sally Green is people. Okay. And everyone is being people. Ah la 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 la. So he says, "Oh, Sally Green is people, 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 people." You're next. You're next. You're next. Like in the I'm part, at, like it's I'm, I'm same. I'm actually and- curious. I saw that there's a remake uh, with um, <coughs> in nineteen a seventies uh, remake of this movie. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah with uh, with Donald Sutherland. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I really don't. I, I also, I don't know. It's not. Like, to me, like, the giant plot holes aren't a huge problem. Yeah. I don't care. Usually doesn't like, bother me either. Like, I watched the movie five yeah, times. Seriously, and had if you didn't like it. it. No, 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 no. That, that is not at all why. Okay. No, every time I watched it, okay. I just like, it was, it was not, like, I was, like, I was ready to watch every night. Wow, that's pretty cool. Is, is It has not happened in a while. Okay. I've watched some bad movies. <laughs> I, I, I will say, Mike, the, I mean, I, I, out of all three of us, like I like um, A Shot in the Dark, but it was hard for me to watch it every night. It's always hard, man. It was so, hard. So, like I said earlier, I think it comes down to this movie was only 80 minutes. Uh, it was so short, so tight, like... There's really not a wasted minute in this movie mm. to me, which I think is why I like it. Mm-hmm. Like it's so tight. Like mm-hmm. there, there are times where like, why why did they spend time on this? Which whatever. Would you say but, in the movies that we watched? Would you say it, this movie has the best editing? Nope. No, 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 no. There's okay. there's real weird editing choices okay. in this movie for okay. sure. No, it, it does not have the best edits. Okay, but it it has it has a good pace. That it, it it has a pace that like it builds up and then like it has a kind of like just like Paula Abdul, but <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> You like her in spurts, but not continuously for for an hour. No, no. I was saying that the two steps forward, two steps back. Yeah. It's got a two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward. Like I feel like they're always they're always adding something. Like the movie is, and it doesn't have to be like story plot line wise mm. adding mm. something. Like there's always something interesting every few minutes. Okay. It may not be good, okay, but I feel like there's there's always something happening. Like no. I feel like some movies just take way too long, which is fine. Like I I feel like th- I, I know there is there is like it, it's good to marinate on 
a scene or like an idea for a while. Okay. But I really liked the pace of this movie. Okay. Okay. Like it's always moving forward. Like there's never there's never a downtime. I feel like even in the downtimes, like it's still just taking like a step back, but it's still building forward to something more. Okay. Now, if you if you met someone that wanted to get like just was a um, a new sci-fi fan or was someone that wanted to get into sci-fi, would you recommend this movie? Uh, no, no. I mean, I mean, I guess eventually yes, I would, Star but Wars. not. It would. It wouldn't be no. No. <laughs> it would. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be like top ten movies, sci-fi movies that I would recommend someone watch. Like, a- like AI. I'm really, I'm really surprised that you said what it was ninety eight percent. Like that's yeah, it's ninety eight percent. Then it's probably not, now that you've mentioned that same number like seven times. There's no way that's right. It's ninety eight percent. I checked you've, it. You've today. jinxed it. I checked well, it today. Well, if if it's anything above like. 6570 that's insane. I nailed it. Ninety eight percent of rotten tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so high to me. Um, that is uh that is critics. It is eighty five percent audience. It's still amazing. But I mean who, I, mean, I don't who, think it's I who don't the think fuck cares about like like rotten tomatoes. Rotten tomatoes is pretty uh, a good measurement though. It's bullshit. <laughs> Seven point eight on uh I am deb- It's still pretty high. <laughs> I'm gonna rate it right now, everybody. Oh, I, I forgot. I need to. I need to. Uh, I need to put this in in, <laughs> in show that I. It took me one, two, three. Now on the third time through this movie, uh-huh. I realized what that whole Reno conversation meant. Yeah, I did. Uh, did not know what that meant the first two did times. Did not get it actually. Actually, no, I know it, it, means, it means kind of the opposite of that. Okay, okay. Going to Reno means you got a divorce. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. like going to Las Vegas is okay. Okay. I don't even. What What are you talking about? The, uh, in the beginning, the, 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 the Becky and the doctor. Were so, talking oh, about. The yes, yes, yes. When they leave, like the train station, he said she, the the nurse says something about like, "Oh, Becky Driscoll asked about you." And he says something like, oh, no, I'm not interested in married women. But then when they meet in office, they're walking out, and she says something about, like, oh, I went to Reno. Yeah. And he, like, looks at her and he's like, oh, I also went to Reno recently. Except, like, he, but he's like, <laughs> except I'm paying and you're receiving. Yeah, like, it's, like it's that. super, like, so I, ambiguous. Oh, <laughs> Both the first two times, I did not understand it. Yeah. But then third time, I was like, "Oh shit, they're talking about divorce." Okay. Like, I, like w- whatever happens to that slang? I had like I did not know. Well, I mean, we grew I up. We grew up in an era to, where know, yeah. divorce was pretty normal. Right, right. Um, Mike, I will say, uh, for this movie, if if not sci-fi, I will say like if. Um, a budding screenwriter or a budding um, person who wants to get into film, this movie is a great film for editing. Like, if you want to study how to film edit, this, I, in my opinion, this film is a great movie for film editing. Oh, sorry. I'm putting my hand on. But, um... No, I mean, it looks rad, but... It, it's, it's, it looks, like, for that time period, it looks... Pr- you're not bored. Like, you're not bored at all. You just... It's sure, sure, scene, yeah. Like, yeah. If, you, if you want to talk about, like, shots, like, there's two shots that I don't... <clears throat> the first one, I kind of know how they did it. The second one, I, I have no idea. The first shot is the one where they're, he's driving into Jack's house. Okay. Like, it is, it's shot from the car as he drives at Jack. Mm. So I assume it's a projection on a screen that they're, like, zooming into. Okay. Because you can see Jack like standing in front of his house okay. as the the car is like driving up to the garage. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not really sure how they did that exactly. Hmm. It's a weird shot. And the other shot that I don't know how they did was at the end of the movie where they're going up the stairs, like they're running away up the stairs. Uh huh. There's that shot down the stairs of the. 
uh, Miles and Becky. Yeah. And like it's a, it's a really steady shot, but right. it's just going up, 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 up right. the stairs. Like I don't know how they did that. Actually, to be honest, my favorite shots were the close quarter shots, like when like they were hiding in the closet or they were hiding under the um the the, the boards oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah. in the in the in the tunnel. Um, I yeah, thought like, I thought those yeah, shots under, under the yeah like all I think those shots up, are yeah. way ahead of its time. The, those shots are pretty pretty you know yeah they're 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 thrilling shots. You know? Primo. Yeah, they're primo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for 56, 1956. Totally primo, bro. Primo, bro. They're, they're, they're solid. They're, they're golden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I, 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 thought, uh, yeah. I really thought those close quarter shots were really brilliant. Even when uh, the doctor opened the, um, that chest and they saw... Um, when he went into Becky's house into, and he, he broke Ooh. into the basement and he opened the chest, I thought that yep. shot was really... That's ahead of its time. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, that was but, cool. You know, but yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like this, this movie has some amazing <clears throat> influence for uh, you know budding fil- filmographers. Yeah. So yeah, the the last last thing I wanted to bring up from my notes was that I, I wrote uh, pod people equal super polite non-violent zombies. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like this is like. <laughs> Like the like pre zombie zombie movie. Like they're so polite. Like they don't they don't really kill anyone. Like so, and they talk to you, but they're totally zombies. This was my they, problem for this movie was what is the end game of this of these aliens? Like, yeah. What? what yes. Are yeah, exactly. They, yeah. That's that's the other. What like, is the end game? Like what what are they trying to accomplish? That's a note that also has disappeared apparently on okay. from my. Exactly. I was like, what, what is the purpose of any of this? <laughs> any ideas, Brian? No. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, what are they going to do? Who knows? I, yeah, I just, I just, I thought about that the whole, throughout. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I didn't finish reading. I started reading it yesterday. It's based on a book. Mm. I didn't know that until yesterday <laughs> i didn't finish it but uh yeah the book's quite different okay it, it follows the story mostly but like the 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 main character the miles character is he's an air quite force different. ranger <laughs> no back in no like he, he struggles quite a bit with like his he's attracted to becky but he wants to be like he doesn't want to he doesn't want to like fall into love with her at all. Like that's that, that's a struggle with him throughout the book. Like it's it's weird. It's 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 a little bit different, but it, it's yeah. I, I don't know how it finishes. I I only got about halfway through. So basically, it's like in Jurassic Park. You know, the mathematician who's into chaos theory. Uh, what's his name? The actor Malcolm. Malcolm. No. <laughs> Dr. Ian Malcolm is his name. Oh, wait, yeah, Dr. Ian Malcolm. His character. But he was really into, like, yeah. Laura Dern. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum's character. And he was, like, really into Laura, uh, Laura Dern, but, like, he couldn't, like, explain. He couldn't really express his feelings, yet he's trying to save Jurassic Park and Laura Dern at the same time. But he couldn't because he died. <laughs> is that a bit of a stretch? I don't know. Spoiler alert! <laughs> what? Why was that a spoiler? A spoiler alert? You said he died. Everybody's seen Jurassic Park. I've never seen. I've seen it. Of course, I've seen it. <laughs> oh gosh! Are we doing? So, what is this? Drinks time? Is it? Is it? By the way, we, if you we... ever watch any one of these and you are upset about spoilers, just don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> We don't put spoiler warnings anywhere. Come on, I, it's pretty. Jurassic Park. Who uh, has no, we, not we need to watched. need to rank these and oh, give yeah, drinks to the. But I, I need to go to the back. Okay. Um, let me take you down for a second. Here. So, so now it's your turn to talk shit about this movie for a while. Oh, you're clear. Let's vamp. Brian. God, why did he pick this dumb fucking movie? <laughs> He's always picking dumb movies. 
<laughs> I feel like recently we've been going really like so okay we started with Nosferatu right Nosferatu and then I went back into the 1960s with uh, Shaun the Dark yep but then he goes back to the 50s right oh Mel you shouldn't bring this up now cause that's I'm, I'm that's really so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna of, I'm gonna pull us out of that I hope so <laughs> I'm gonna okay <laughs> my, my pick my pick is the antithesis oh so, but I I started yeah I started. No, as, I'm not saying it's I, I don't I I'm not saying it's bad to go. Me neither, I, I but I, I like movies, variety. Like yeah. we, we we Usual Suspects, and then since then we we've been going back in time. Yeah, 22, 64, 56. Yeah, exactly. So, so like, the second movie was 1941, but after that we took a took a brief detour through the 80s, 90s, 70s, and then <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on it. Don't worry. Okay. Now I'm 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 wondering if we're ever, we're ever going to do something from within the past twenty years. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Okay. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm just worry. I'm just curious. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Okay. In fact, because just wait. Have you decided what your drink is going to be? No, I haven't. Not I, yeah. When so, I was watching well, this, I so normally we have don't. a drink list though, right? Like we, we, you have the. Yeah, I don't know where Mike put it though. Oh. Uh, I usually don't did you watch it. But did you, did, while did you I was, no? I did not. Okay. Uh, while I was watching this movie, I thought about what my drink might be. Yeah. And I didn't come up with anything. But I'm while gonna I was say, in the bathroom a minute ago, I think I decided what mine's gonna be. Well, I'm gonna say if you guys, any of you, both of you, say something, something dry martini. That's not gonna. You be deserve it. a slap in the face. Also, I think you go first. Me? Yeah. Uh, you're the you're the odd one out. You're not doing anything. <laughs> so you get everything. You start. You you read the thing. You start the you conversation. Know, you think the dry martinis that come up <laughs> constantly in this movie? <laughs> it came up how many times? Like three, right? Oh, I think oh, I'm at, at least at least three. I just changed mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so I, I want to see this. Wait, where is our? Um, uh, can you, Brian? Can you put up? The, I don't know where it is. You just asked me that, and I just said I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay. The drinks. Where did you, drinks- you put the drinks? It's on at the bottom. It's sheet two or whatever. Oh shit! I didn't even know there was a sheet two. There you go. There you go. Okay. Did you make this sheet two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. where. I didn't know where to put it on the other original sheets. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll put it on sheet two. This is quite a variety, guys. Like, so I felt like it was gonna take up too much room on the other one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Good idea. This is quite the variety. The RoboCop, Mickey's Grenade. So also, Mel, you've used Martini once, haven't you? Uh, yes, Dry I have. Martini. In, uh, for Nosferatu. You're done, son. Yep, I'm done. Um, so, Invasions of the Body Snatchers. It's still only a singular one. Huh? Invasion. Invasion, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. But there's only one invasion. So this is a tough one. Um... What do I feel with this drink? Um, I want to go summer, uh, kind of a summer cocktail, because it, it is, it looks like, it's California, it looks like the summertime in California. Um, He's going to um, say... No, you don't know. You don't know. Wait, pull up the drinks again. <laughs> summertime in she California. Summertime in California. Put up the drinks again. Um... <clears throat> There's only one answer. So, this... The the movie reminds me of summer. And it reminds me of... Uh, there's a lot of, like, wholesome, like, family, small-town values in this movie. And for some reason, this reminds me of a big picture of Sangria. Because... My mother would always make sangria in the summertime for my family. And it, it just sounds like too good and too, I don't know, 1950s for me. I don't know. It just, it just to me, I can't really explain it so well, but um, 
something about Sangria fits me watching this movie. All right. I thought you were going to say Arnold Palmer. Get the hell out of here. No way. <laughs> I, I did not use Sangria too, right? No? Right? Uh, nope. I don't know. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a picture, for myself, a big picture, of nice, icy, cold, sangria. All right. <laughs> <laughs> sangria is good. I don't associate it with this movie at all. <laughs> but sure. Uh, is sangria I'm, usually I'm sure it's huh? also? Huh? Is only gonna be for me, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, is sangria but, usually served icy cold? Uh, I always had it in like a plastic cup with ice. Uh, like, yeah, ice to me, ice. sangria is always served cold. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, but okay, okay. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the other end is like old wine. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... So... <laughs> All right, mine. I'm going to do mine quick, and I have no reason, nothing. But uh, <laughs> the thing that came to my brain was a salty dog. Huh. I haven't heard that name in a while. That's why I'm huh. here, Mel. <laughs> What's in a salty dog? Salt and dog. <laughs> That sounds uh, horrible. It's Salty I think dog. isn't it uh, vodka and uh, what is it? Uh, hold on a second. There's definitely like juice in it, like a grape grapefruit. I believe. Gin or vodka and grapefruit juice. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Salted rim. There you go. There you go. What was it again? Salty gin. Dog. What? Gin or vodka and grapefruit juice. Hmm. I don't know. But uh, it is yeah, so you have no reason for this. Historically, a gin. It's just the. I usually go with the thing that pops into my head, and this was it. Okay. I usually don't try and theme it around the movie necessarily. No, I don't either. But, but uh, if something pops into my head, that's what I go with more than anything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like to me, like. The obvious choice is a martini. Mar martini. Martini. Yeah. Nav Navitalova. <laughs> make sure you make sure you get your son's pronunciation correct. For for pronunciation. Yeah. Uh yeah. So <clears throat> the obvious yeah choice is a martini. Dry martini, olive or onion. Shaking not stirred. R I P. Roger Moore. Moore. Yeah. Roger Moore. <laughs> Chris Cornell, but, uh, huh? Chris so Cornell. To me, Fuck. the the drink that I think of when I think of like black and white movies for some reason is a seven and seven. Seven seven, like Seagram seven then? With yes, seven Seagram up? seven and seven up. Wow, that's a fucking classic, dude. That's that's that what my grandma. Like, used. Dude, that's what my grandfather would drink. Why that, would man. that make you think of? Black and white movies. <laughs> I don't because because my grandma was an old lady and she loved the secret seven and seven. Right. <laughs> was that more of a grand? Because like my grandfather drank that. Is I don't that know. a grandmother like drink? Huh? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, generally mixed drinks are less men's drinks, but really, generally, of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I haven't yeah. Between this movie was seven and seven. Wow, okay. That right. I haven't heard that at cocktail in a while. Uh, that's a good one. Seven seven. Seven I don't seven. it doesn't make me think of black and white movies, but then again I I've never met your grandma. Yeah, no. <laughs> like a silence. She never will. She... <laughs> let, let that sink she in, everybody. Yeah. Let that sink in. She loved herself as seven and seven. Hey, Mel. What? I've she never also, met your grandma. She also really liked when I poured her a seven and seven. I bet that she did. Pretty generous. Did she? Did she like when you rubbed her bunions also? Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember. I remember at like one of her friend's funerals 
I was the bartender. I poured, <laughs> I poured some generous drinks. All right. And uh, yeah, she she liked my seven and seven. Okay. Which I think mostly the first seven and not seven. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. <laughs> I haven't had I haven't touched Seagram sevens in a long time. Long, long time. I I haven't tasted that in a long yeah, time. Too. Probably last time was like second year in university for me. Second year, yeah, yeah. I was never big on Seagrams. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had some bad experiences early enough that just the the, the smell of it always put me off. Captain mm-hmm. Morgan made me dizzy. Like, whenever yes, I yes. smelled Captain Morgan, that made me want to just barf. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so you're next. Uh, Brian? Right? Hold on. What am I doing? Aren't we ranking? Oh, no, yes, yeah, that's right. We need to rank. Sorry. We are ranking. Uh, I forgot. We need to who's rank going first. Or... Mike, are you going first, or... Oh, yeah, I don't know who sounds, goes first. Much better now. I, I will go first if I have to. Uh, what are we doing? Ranking? I, I've got a pretty clear yeah. idea of where I would put it. I don't know if you guys uh, need to discuss anything. Oh, look, oh, we've okay, okay. we've switched now. It's clear to see. This... Uh, so we've uh, we're doing an all time ranking, right? We're not just doing a top ten for this, right? No, no, no. This this is all time. This okay. this one keeps going. So we now have eleven movies to rank on this list. Since there was one movie that shall not be mentioned. Oh. Uh, yeah, that won't be ever ranked. That is, <laughs> what they say in Japanese is Nankugai. Mm-hmm. <laughs> out, out of rank. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Mike, are you first? I don't know. I don't. Like I said, I I, I've already got mine. If you guys need to discuss. I'm, 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 I'm staring at it right now, and I, I see two possible. Bigger over here. I see two possible. Your camera's over here. <laughs> Would you leave me alone? <laughs> hey, why don't you record it in your own house? <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm done with this show. <laughs> I'm done with this show. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I think I know where it goes. Okay, I got, I got I've got my spot. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So who, who goes first? Go ahead, Mike. Well, should we play a game of Mount Your Friends to decide? <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't. Uh, I'm going to put this at uh, eight, above Maltese Falcon, below Miller's Cross. That's what I was going to say. You were going to say eight? Mike, that's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say um, below Miller's Crossing. Because wow. I've never seen Miller's Crossing. Um, yeah, I was I was gonna put it there because I think it's way above. Uh, wait, have you wait wait wait? Have you seen Maltese Falcon? No. Okay. I've seen Shot in the Dark, Under Siege, and I can I, I put that way above. Which that. were both your two choices? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've seen them a lot. Yeah. Um, but I I I. Oh, ah, ah. Yeah, I, I can't put him. I can't put. All right, well, 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 I like. I don't, no, no, no. I'm just saying. I can't put RoboCop below um, this movie. Um, so that, that's no. why. That's why I, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I'm gonna put it on, on at eight. Yeah, that makes sense for me. Brian, where are you going? I don't know why, but I would put this at seven personally. Above Miller's Cross. Yeah. Above Miller's. Okay. I, I, yeah. Huh. Go ahead. Contest that. I don't know. But I, I'm not willing to fight for it. If you guys are not, want to put it at eight below Miller's Crossing, I'm. That, that, that's both of you guys. I'm whatever. Two in the pink for that one. No problem. <laughs> Why did you yeah, have your hand gesture? I don't, I don't think <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I had an itch. No, this is what I do when I itch stuff. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not going to make an argument for putting it above Miller's Crossing. So yeah, but for for me, the the only reason was looking at this list. Uh, 
I think the Maltese Falcon is maybe a better movie uh, overall. But no, I, also, I, I, I absolutely disagree with that. I, I think <laughs> no, it's a better movie overall, but I, I think that uh, the impact of this movie is stronger. Yes, I, I, I would agree with that, yeah. So I would put it above Maltese Falcon, sure. Why uh, below Miller's and, Crossing? And also, no, I would put it above Miller's Crossing. Oh, you okay. put it below. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's saying above Miller's Crossing. Okay, why above Miller's Crossing? In the same same reason, I think that uh, there's... I think Miller's Crossing has a lot of things that are better. Like, it, the cinematography is much better. The soundtrack is probably better. Uh, the acting in oh, general. The soundtrack is easily better. The, Who watched it five times? You. Like, okay. I watched both of those movies five times. <laughs> easily. This is this is soundtrack in Invasion of the Body Snapper. Body Snapper <laughs> is is incredibly generic. It's There's so a couple bad. times where it's good, but most of the time it's it's really generic. But in any case, to me, for me, the reason I would put it above, and like I said, I'm not going to fight for it. I don't fucking care about either movie that much is simply that even though I didn't really like things about this movie, uh, most of the things I didn't like about this movie is that I thought there could have been more done. Like the the showing the transition, changing the transition itself to, to be not just falling asleep, but fucking the taking over or something like that. Those mm-hmm. kinds of things I think could have made this movie even better. Uh, Miller's Crossing, I don't know what would have made it better ever. Like, it just, from start to finish, it was just kind of like a, an average movie. Uh, there were some really good characters and some good acting, good cinematography, sure. But it was just kind of like, that was the movie they made. And, eh, it's okay. This movie, I felt like there could have been so much to make it even better. But at the same time, the impact of this movie is stronger. Just like, as I said, for Maltese Falcon. Just this movie's impact like I will remember scenes and I will remember uh, shots from this movie way more than any of the uh, movies below it. Uh, but, sure, sure, sure. But I don't really care. So whatevs. <laughs> whatevs. <laughs> whatevs, player. I would say that yeah, the the music in Miller's Crossing puts it above this one. And same. I would sure. say even like the shots. Like Yeah, the cinematography in Mills Crossing is better. Yeah, it's not it's not kind of I wanna see Mills Crossing now, yeah. Watch it, Mill. Yeah. You should. It's good. But yeah, yeah, I th- I think eight's eight's a good spot. I thought you said oh yeah, sorry. Yes. Eight, okay. Why is that? Nice. Now I'm what? quite I'm Quite curious about um. Why is there a weird space? <laughs> what else? I wonder where uh, the Rocky Horror know. Picture Show is going to be ending up. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is Runk Guy. It's, it's it's right where it's right where it will always be. <laughs> Here, Mel, this is where this is where it's going to be. <laughs> it's gone. That's weird. No. It will be always here. It's right the there. List. That's okay. where. That's where it is on the okay. periphery. Technically on the list. So it's a. It's basically an outlier to the rest of the, the, the movies. It's like we never watched it. <laughs> but I do did watch it. Do 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 do. I, I did. I mean, if, if you really want to make an argument, I'll be willing to go back to it. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it five fucking times. That's for sure. <laughs> I'll put it at number twelve but, right now. I, I'm it, willing. I, I'm willing to listen to you make an argument for its for place it. on here. <laughs> but currently, yeah, it, it would. It's twelve. Obviously, it's, 12. Like, it's it, not even an argument it to will me. Most likely, never rise above twelve. <laughs> like. <laughs> I, I would be shocked if we watch a movie that goes below it. Yep. You never know. You never know. But I'm willing yeah, but to even so, that. it will never rise above 12. Mm. 
Because even if the movie is worse than it, it'll still stay at 12. There's I just a, feel bad for there's one no, of us watching that movie be, five times in a row, you know? Yeah, that was Mike. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that movie that's going to be below Rocky. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Certainly. <laughs> I guarantee it. All right, are we ready? Are we done with this movie? Whatever it's called? Invasion of the Bond <laughs> Snatch? <laughs> S- snappers, was it? Invasion of the Snappers <laughs> bottles. Why is it messed up? The the, the indentation. The I don't know. That's weird. Huh. I don't understand what's happened there. There's some sort of formatting thing that's messed up. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here it is. I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Boom, transition. Look at it. Wow. Beautiful. Fixed. Amazing. Number eight. Okay, so real quick, Karate Kid is still the best movie ever made. Yeah. We will be doing a third and wrong of that probably in Pretty July. Excited. Come back for that. Uh, Can't wait. Four movies, not just three. Stay tuned for all of them. The next Karate Kid. So guys, I still don't know what this third and wrong is. We watch, we watch movies. That's okay. it. Okay. It's the same shit. Except <laughs> whatever. Okay. Everybody has to watch more than one. But you know what? Nobody has to watch the same movie over and over. Okay. No. We, we just watch you watch an episode, you jerk? What if I don't want to? But it's good quality content. <laughs> Nosferatu is the second best movie of all time. Okay. Followed by The Usual Suspects, The Princess Bride, Sleeper, Robocop, Miller's Crossing, Invasion of the Mighty Avengers. There you go. The Maltese Falcon, A Shot in the Dark. And Under Siege. Under Siege is the worst movie ever made. <laughs> so, there you have it. I thought, really yeah, I thought we were all loving Under Siege, though. That list. Say one more time. <laughs> what? I said, I've really got a death grip on the middle of that list. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep for Robocop, Miller's Crossing, Invasion of the Body. Those are all my movies. <laughs> I do have three of the top four. Like, yeah, yeah, you, you you're, you're all up on the top. You do. You do. <laughs> Uh and yeah, I'm I'm a but little but, but see where but, your next one shows up. But the number four is very contentious. I know. Well, on, on, only in this house. time will tell. Time well, will doesn't tell. doesn't Mel feel the same though? What huh? Princess Bride? No. Are you still? No, rocking he's the Bride? reason it's up there. Oh okay. No, I, I love Princess Bride, man. No. All right. No. Which is weird. All right. I think it's time, Brian. It's time. Mel's ready to go to bed. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yep. Damn you. Bye. (laughs) Good night, everybody. Well, no, no. Wait. You got to announce... You got to announce your... uh... Wait. I thought you... You got a movie picked out? Yeah, no, normally, we, we talk about the next movie. Yeah. I, do, I do have a movie picked out, and here's the thing. Are you trying to make us guess that next uh, movie? Yeah, I'll, you guys can guess. I'll give you a hint. First of all, it's a movie that uh, I've never seen. Go. <laughs> uh, you've never seen The Dark Crystal. Uh, I have seen parts of The Dark Crystal, and I hate it. So, no. Oh, also, hey, David Bowie showing up in fucking Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. What? Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Exactly. He was only in, like, for, like, two minutes. What was that about? You're really into uh-huh. Twin Peaks these days, huh? Uh, I was. I will be once I start watching the new series. Anyway, so, okay. So, here, here's the thing. I like checking shit off my list. Mm-hmm. I love it. When I make a list, I'll put shit, like, to do today, I'll put, like, go to the bathroom just so I can check something check off because I know I'm going to do it. <laughs> right? So when you wake up, you just already wow. check it off, right? Well, when I... So, wait, wait, wait. Do that? you put things on a list that you've already done just so you can check them off? Nope. Can't do that. Cannot do that. That is, un- okay, okay. That is unbelievable. Okay. But when I used to when I used to teach at the junior high school, I'd make a list of things to do at my desk every day, and it'd be like go to the bathroom, put my bento in, and like it would be right before I did it, put my bento in the fridge, and then I'd be like, nope, okay, boom, boom, check, <laughs> all the all the time. I just love checking shit off, right? Oh god. So in our list of movies we've watched, there are some gaps, yeah, of course. And I've tried, yes. I've tried to pad out things. Like one of the reasons I picked Nosferatu was because it was the oldest movie that we were probably ever going to watch. Uh, but I wanted to get it on there. I okay, wanted to so, get. Yeah. I wanted to look at this graph. Let me see this gap. It was also. It was also the first horror movie we watched. Uh, so I like. I like getting those things off because I feel once we have a very round, uh, rounded 
idea of mm-hmm. all the movies and movie types and everything, mm-hmm. then I feel more free to kind of just do anything, right? I got yeah. it. I feel like right now there's there's some things that are missing, so I have to check off as many as I can before I can just do whatever. So let me let me try to can I guess. can I give can I give you another hint? Okay, this movie that I've chosen will check off at least three, maybe f- more. Probably let's say more, more checks. Is it a sports movie? No. Damn. Look that, that that's what that's one thing. You that is off. one thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is it a sports movie? I do love me. I I do love some sports movies and sports movies are almost one of the only things in life that will make me cry uh, other than the death of someone. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I actually guessed, you, like, Rudy or something. I don't know. Uh, I, is I it one of the years that we have not watched? It is, absolutely. Okay. Let okay. Me look at the year. Can I see the years that we have not watched? So it's 10s, 2000s, 1930s. And then 1910, 1908, like... Mike, I think I'm going to... It's a possibility. I'm going to shoot for the 2000s, and I'm going to shoot for a movie that you haven't watched and a genre that you haven't... Uh, I didn't say it's wait, wait. a genre that I haven't anything. Did, did you say it's a movie? Yeah, you did. He did a say it's a movie he hasn't watched. watched. I have not watched this movie. I'm going to I'm gonna go somewhere in the 2000s range. Um... We haven't, we haven't done a war movie. And we won't be. <laughs> right? That's not it. No. Okay. All right, are you ready for a hint? One yes. more hint. All right, the first well, one more. The first hint of the first checkbox basically mm. is this will be our first foreign language movie. Ooh. Foreign language meaning not English. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not in fully, fully in frame. For, ah, not English. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Oh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. No. Damn. Uh, wasn't that in the nineties? It was in the nineties. Is it a martial arts film? Because we, we never touched. A, have we touched? A, no, no. We Karate Kid. We have arts. not, except Karate Kid. Uh, karate Kid. Yeah. Which is yeah. which is arguably a martial arts. Not really stuff. a martial arts. Yeah, I think you could make an argument for that. Not. <laughs> Hanging on by a thread. Uh, hmm. No. Nah. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. First foreign language movie. First foreign Ready? language movie. Ready? No, 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 no. No, hold on. Is it let European? Me, let me make a guess. Oh, uh, no, no. Did I, you say I'm, foreign I'm, language? Is it, is it European? No, 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 hold Asian. on. It was foreign language. What was the other clue? It's one of the not chosen. Oh, not, not, not. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, foreign language. Uh, I want to say. Two thousands. I think it's. I think it's a two thousands movie. I think so too, so, man. Um, <laughs> is, it, is it Battle Royale? Oh no, that's a good one. That's I a should, good. I should have watched that. Good one, man. Um, but the only problem is that's well, we that's not checking off the next box. The the genre, right? I guess that's a that's like an action movie, which we've done. So yeah, done comedy, we've done action, we've done mystery. Mel, you got another guess? Um, no, it's a good question. I'm I'm looking. I'm thinking Asia right now. So, um. Hmm. Is it a Hong Kong film? Nope. Ready? No! Next, next hint. Okay. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Next, next hint. hint. Next hint. I think I think I, I have an idea, though. All right, so it's the first foreign language film. It is also going to be our first animated film. Oh, animated. Oh, shit. That's not, Ghibli. That's not where I was going. It's a Ghibli film. Fucking, uh, Am I, should I answer that or not? Spirited Away. Should I answer that? Spirited Away? When was Spirited Away? I 2001. guess that's 2000s. 2001. Uh, yeah, I think that was 2000s. No, I have that, I have that movie. Uh, the Wind Rises. I don't, want it. I don't like it. I'm going to tell you, there's almost no Ghibli movies I like except for Totoro. Okay. 
I, I know you love Ghibli. Love Ghibli. I know Ghibli is loved by masses. I don't like Ghibli. <laughs> but it Hayao is... Miyazaki can suck my... Is that his name? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're honorable, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm the father will fucking assassinate you right now. I'm ambivalent. I don't... Animation. Yeah, I don't. I don't really wait, 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 care. Wait, 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 I thought wait, wait. I thought Ponyo was uh, good, so... and I like. I really, really like Totoro. Uh, really, I don't. Yeah, Totoro's I feel like, like, Is it? Um, it's is it a uh, Summer Wars? No, I don't even know what that is. Okay, never mind. Are you ready for the next hint? Yeah. 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 Sure. Uh, it is 2010s. More specifically, the reason I asked about the schedule so damn much is the DVD is not out yet. It will be out at the end of July. Your name? That's right. Kimi no Nawa. Oh god! I just saw that twice in the airplane. Boom! You get to watch it again <laughs> in August. <laughs> What genre know, would what you put? Uh, yeah, the genre is kind of. Um, you have to know it's, what Kimi no Nawa is. It's. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's a it's a romance suspense. I don't uh, I don't I don't even know, Mel. I, all I know is it's, it's an anime. It's a love it story. Was like, it was Mike, a, it's a love a, story. A huge hit last yeah. year. It's a love okay. story. Last it's, a, it's a love story. It was like a, a kick, not not kickstart, but uh, yeah. it was basically kickstarted. Yeah. As like an animated movie, uh, and it became huge in Japan, and I know that there's like, it's basically like two, I don't know if they're parallel universes or what, but there's yeah. like a guy and a girl yeah. that somehow can communicate uh, across time and space or something. Yeah. Yeah, there was that huge hit by Rad the, Wimps. The worst band name Ever. in history. Rad <laughs> Wimps. Kimi no Zen Zen Zen. Mike, talk to uh, Sachiko about it. You, you have forgotten Monkey Magic? Dude, Rad Wimps is worse than Monkey Magic. Rad Wimps also, is... I, I saw the lead oh, Okay, Also, Bump of Chicken. You saw the... Bump of Chicken is great. Dude, That's Bump a great name. Bump of <laughs> Chicken, uh, the singer lives near me, man. I saw the I saw the Monkey Magic singer <laughs> when I was in Sendai. Uh, Those are both terrible names. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Rad Wimps. Come Rad on. Wimps is pretty it bad. Is, though. It's one word. <laughs> what are you doing? Wimps. I know. Yeah, yeah. Like Bubble Chicken, it sounds like a name that like you would make up like when you're drunk with your buddies and you're like, dude, let's let's in my band. Oh. Like Wang Bangers. Yeah, exactly. Um. Okay. Okay. There you go. Kimi no Lola. Okay. What's the English name? Your name. Your name. Yeah. Huh. Uh, it comes out, the DVD comes out uh, July 27th? I did not know the DVD hasn't come out yet. I did not know that. Maybe. Huh. So we will be watching that. You only have to watch it once. Don't worry. Just okay. one more time. Okay. In fact, if you want to refrain from watching it again... And just live off your memories uh, from watching it twice on an airplane recently. Yeah, go for it. Because <laughs> you'll well, have Mike, you'll have Mike, questions. You're going back to the states this summer, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Be on the movie? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't matter what 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 airplane, what flight, you know, airline you're going to be flying on. I'm pretty sure it's there, dude. It's like two months from now, and you just dude, watched it already. Like I, dude, it was on. Like it was in, uh, yeah, it was in the airplane Christmas time, and then it was on again. It's Christmas time. I bet it's on there. It's. I'm pretty sure it's on. It's there, gonna right? be. It's gonna stay on the fucking playlist dude. for six months, eight yeah, months. Dude. Are you taking Anna or Jal or something or a Japanese airline? Oh, well, I don't know. Okay. But like, uh, yeah. Are you taking United? Topical. Topical. <laughs> no, I haven't trained enough to take United. <laughs> but I. Crab McGraw. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> seriously, I'm pretty sure it'll be on an airplane somewhere. Like. Oh uh, yeah, sure. It's I gotta be on an airplane. <laughs> 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 you just. 
fly the airplane. He's got to fly I, I, which one. Now, I am not looking forward to this <laughs> at all. So I, I always I thought about this, guys. Um, um, before we do the actual week of the five bagger. By the way, this is the end of the show. So if you want to turn it off, just go ahead right now. We'll see you uh, in a while. Uh, okay. Bye. But this, bye. I guess, it, but my question is kind of prevalent to Five Bagger, but whatever. No, no, no. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's the end. No, no, of, it, it'll still already... be in the episode. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're not, we're not turning off the recording now because no one cares. Okay. Well, no, uh, we care, Mike. Come on. Yes, I care. I want to know what you're asking about. My 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 question was that guy cares. That guy right there. I'm talking to you. You care. <laughs> we want to go ahead and thank you right now for sticking with us all the way to the end. All the way to hear what this guy has to say. It's not really about that what important. This, this really, really important thing he's got to say. Let's turn it over to him. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to say in, in the, <laughs> What a in, jerk. In the invasion of the body snatchers, when the cop says, the third truck, everyone goes to oh, the third right. truck. Okay, I remember that, that really stuck out to me. Because, like, why does he keep saying it? The third truck. It says oh, truck yeah. number one, truck number two, the third truck, the third truck. Because it's not truck <laughs> number... So, yeah. here's the thing. Here's what they didn't show. <clears throat> the truck is actually truck number 72. But they're like... How do you know? Well, you know, you read some stuff. Like, I'm just making shit up. <laughs> but the only explanation is that the, the number on the truck is not three. Yeah, he says truck number one, truck number two, the, the third, third truck. truck. They're like, so... we, sorry, we could not get truck three, uh, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to do it. this truck is it's actually painted uh, in the theme of uh, what's his name, Richard Petty. It's a Richard Petty themed truck. So it's actually oh wait, shit, is he number three? He might be three. Fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Never number mind. Three. Dale Jarrett. It's Dale Jarrett's themed truck, which everybody knows Dale, Dale, Dale Jarrett is number 42. So, Jackie Robinson. <laughs> so that's why they said the third truck. <laughs> Alright, now no. what were you going to say? I was... Fuck, I almost forgot my question, but now I remember. We it. came back to you just in time. So, uh, so, for example, your name, right? So, if Brian already announces That's the funny. week that he's going to do the five bagger, but you watch your name the week before. Does that count? That's why the intro says. Yeah, sure. That counts, right? The yes. other two probably yeah. watch it once. Okay. Probably. So, so, probably. So from the time before we you, you do the five bagger. And I watched the Your Name movie. That counts as my time to watch it, right? Yeah, usually we want to watch it as close to the recording time as right, possible. Right, right, right. But, but, like, the third and wrongs we do are much more spread out sometimes. Because sometimes we have to watch five movies over, you know, and some of them are real long, you know. So we tend to be more, much more lenient as far as when you watch the movies. Speaking as far as, as far as the five baggers go, usually the one person watches the five in the week leading up to recording, and the other people watch it usually during that week as well. But like I said, if you watched it on a plane recently, yeah, you know, yeah, th that's a yeah, that's a different opinion to have, and that's fine. Okay, it's not like I'm gonna watch it five times this week and then talk about it in August. Mm. That's crazy. But if you watch it in, in Christmas and you've got opinions about it and you can form those opinions again in, in August, more power to you. You know what I mean? It's just a different way to... It's a different perspective. Okay. And that's totally cool. Uh, um, Mike, I already told Brian about uh, the movie I, I recently watched that I really, really recommend is uh, Creed, the, the, the last Rocky movie. Oh okay, yeah. I, I have not it, seen. It. Like I, have not I, seen I, it I actually, when I was watching it, I actually thought about it as my nomination for my next five bagger. But I'm, it's so long though, um, I can't do yeah. that for four or five days. But it is an awesome, awesome movie. I th I think it, it it's very action packed, and 
if you are a big fan of Rocky movies, you would love it, especially the final bout. See, that's why that's why you got to get on, you know, on this third and wrong. Once you get up to uh, yeah, but Rocky's like once you seven up, movies now, man. Right. Once you get up to a movie series of eight, yeah, then you can pick it. Yeah, and that will be just one of the eight movies you see. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Mike, if you have a chance, man, Creed is really, really good. I, I, uh, like yeah, I yeah. I, I have heard it's very good. Yeah, It's been on my Amazon watch list for months. Okay. <laughs> I, I've, I've wanted to watch it. Okay. I just haven't. Okay. I just, uh, I'll say the same thing to you as I said to Brian. Like, definitely, if, if show's around, it's probably not a good idea. Like sure. if unless he's really okay with blood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, did you see in in Gauntlet you could turn the gore off? No. Oh, good. In the, yeah, in the graphics you can turn that off. What's gone? Video game. Um, I got to go guys. I got to call the lady because she's kind Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> Goodbye. That's the end of the show, folks. Goodbye. That was Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1956. <laughs> Next time, we'll be back with, uh, what was yours? What was, no, what's the name of your movie? No, what's the name of your movies? What is the name of the, the next, your movie? The next movie thing is your What is your role. name? Oh, the next movie thing from uh, us oh. from us is the John Cazale? John Cazulu. Whatever right. his name is. John C- uh, Cthulhu. Uh, the Conversation, The Deer Hunter, and Dog oh, Day Afternoon. Oh, yeah. So look, look forward to that in July. Or, no, June. God, why do I... Guy. I've messed that up so many times. It's not July, June. It's June, July. So look forward to that in June, and then Karate Kid in July. I'll be there for that. And then what's, hey. what's my name in August? What, your name? What is your name? Kimi no Nawa. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, B. Bye, B. Bye.